now, we've gotten to know our classmates pretty well. Just like all of us, we know that they each have strengths, and they also have some things that they need help with. Let's take a closer look to see how they connect with the level of help they need. Once, when Angela was daydreaming about the next prank she was going to pull, and she was supposed to be listening to the lesson, Angela realized she had no idea what she was supposed to be doing. Thankfully, Angela also knew the best person to ask, Hazel. It turns out Hazel had already taken detailed notes to share with Angela. This was exactly the help that Angela needed at the time to get back on track. That's not always enough. Sometimes, Angela needs to level up her help. Like when Angela gets help from her teacher with starting assignments. She also gets help from her parents to keep her room and backpack organized. Well, until they get messy again. And she goes to see a pediatrician for her ADHD medication. Like Angela, Jared also reaches out for help. At the end of the day, Jared likes to chat with his dog, Ranger. He tells Ranger about all the stuff he worries about. Ranger is a great listener, but Ranger isn't too talkative and can't help Jared with his math. So in addition to his dog, Jared knows he has to reach out to humans for help. His human helpers are his big family, a psychologist, and Ms. Johnson at school who helps him with math. The psychologist works with Jared to learn strategies to cope with his anxiety disorder. Let's take a look at Owen. Just like Angela and Jared, Owen has some helpers too. When Owen started to struggle with depression, Owen didn't even know he needed help. He thought it was his fault that he couldn't keep up with all of his activities. He figured he was just tired and lazy. He didn't realize how much bigger the depression really was. It was his mom who spotted it first. She reached out to Owen's teacher, who also noticed the depression. His teacher thought it was time to level up Owen's help. She figured the school counselor could be a big support. At first, Owen wasn't sure about the idea of counseling, but it turns out that it's helped a whole lot. When Hazel's parents realized that she had OCD, they knew it was time to get her a very special kind of leveled up help. It was frustrating for a while because it took Hazel and her family a long time to get the right kind of help. At one point, Hazel almost felt like giving up, but she and her dads kept trying. Now, Hazel has a team of helpers who all work together with Hazel to turn down the volume on OCD. Her team includes a social worker, a psychologist, and a special mental health doctor called a psychiatrist who prescribe medication to treat the OCD symptoms. Alex has a harder time recognizing when they need help. That's why it's so important for Alex to have a team of trusted adults to help them notice when to reach out. When it comes to gadgets or tech, Problems and solutions are obvious to Alex, but when it comes to friendships and feelings, well, that's more of a mystery. Like the time Alex and Angela were baking together, and Angela added secret ingredients to the recipe, Alex had to stop, take a breath, and notice the frustration tornado building inside. Alex asked their foster mom for help, who suggested that these could be experimental cookies. It turns out the secret ingredients were delicious and the cookie recipe is now forever changed. Just like Angela, Jared, Owen, Hazel, and Alex, we all need help sometimes. In fact, reaching out for help allows us to build our skills and our strengths. Who are your go-to helpers? How do you know when to reach out for help before things get too big? And how do you know when you need to level up?